Hi everyone, I have um, had a problem with my stove top and I thought I'd post this video for anybody else who may have had the same problem. Uh, the problem was with, with the control panel. I have a KitchenAid um, gas stove which gave me an error message. Um, suddenly an error F2E0 appeared and it um, would kind of um, highlight at the bottom and it would say stuck key. And uh, I looked online to see if there are any resources, what I may be able to do to fix the problem. Uh, one of the suggestions was to turn off the electric connection to the stove and see if that resolves the issue. So turning off the electricity for about an hour um, from the main grid line and um, I'm sorry, not an hour, for about like one minute, some places they said five minutes and I turned it off for about an hour. Came back, turned back on and uh, press the uh, off button twice. So off, off, start clock set. And that's, that's supposed to reset the, uh, the system. So hopefully any, any circuit issues would be resolved. Um, that did not work for me. So I opened up the stove, I took it apart um, and it wasn't very complicated. I mainly wanted to get to a part of the stove that would give me access and I'll show you here. So that would give me access to this front panel. And this this is a glued uh, glue on, this has been glued on. But in order to get in here, I had to kind of open up the whole thing, the, the entire front panel. And so I removed the two side panels, um, two side panels. I removed the two side panels. I also removed the back panel, which was not perhaps not necessary, uh, but I removed the two side panels and came back, I removed these uh, knobs, so all four knobs, I, I, I removed them all. And uh, once you remove everything, you get to the, uh, to, to the back of this, this front panel and you will see the electric circuit board. So I'm just going to pause and, and come so here we are, I am removing the, uh, the knobs um, just to demonstrate. I've already removed all of the, um, the screws that were holding this piece together. So the screws are right here. For this particular stove, I had to remove the panel in order to get to this screw that holds the front panel together. So I removed all the screws and uh, let's remove the knobs. Actually, um, So if you just, and, and you can see that the, there is no, nothing written, so I've already turned off the, uh, the main grid line. So uh, here we go, we'll take this part off, and there we are, you can actually see all of the, uh, the connections here. So these are the different connections. The one that is attached to the front, um, the front glued on control panel is, is this one. This comes off very easily. First, you want to you actually want to wiggle this a little bit so that they come off. You don't want to pull out anything, so you will just kind of wiggle it a little bit and it will come off. I'll show you. And just be very soft with it because you don't want to break anything. There we go. So they come off very easily. I'm just going to put it back on. And that's the same thing with this one. You can just kind of wiggle it and it comes off, it comes undone. And I'm just going to take all of them off. Take this one off as well. Alright, so all of them are off and now you're, you can actually take the front panel off and take it to a workstation. Now I'll tell you, I have already changed this, this uh, front uh, panel, so I'm just going to leave this on and put this over on the stove. So I'll show you. I ordered this on Amazon. This is this came on Amazon. Um, the one this is actually my old one. I, I've already attached a new one to to the panel. It was very easy to install, so I I ordered it on Amazon. I cleaned the surface completely, and what I used was rubbing alcohol 
and um, I used gauze, uh, so just regular gauze that you would buy for injuries and rubbing and alcohol. That helps um, remove any residue, any kind of uh, glue that remains over on the surface, especially on the uh, metal surface that is touching the back of this um, this panel, this control panel. And this is this is really where the problem is. I just want to show you what it looks like when you take it off. So this is what it looks like in the back, and these these circuit lines are what is attached to your metal surface and that's how you get uh, electricity through the buttons and you're able to connect the system all right so this is my old one um, once you clean the surface and i'll show you what it looks like again so see this one keep it from the top down there's a top so this is the surface i ripped off the other one cleaned the surface and stuck the new one in this on mine the ribbon went through so there was a hole that you can go through i was able to kind of put the ribbon through here so i can get you guys to see and all right so i'm ready to put this back on and i'll tell you guys i've actually just tested this and it, it works so i was able to do a full oven clean and i did not have any problems with running the oven at all let's see so these go back in, just be careful, you don't want to break anything. All right, we want to put this back on. And remember the electricity is still off, so what I want to do is, once this is back on, I'm going to uh, go and turn on the electricity again, just to make sure it's running fine. So I'm just going to take you with me so you see where the electric line is. Okay, here we are. This is the electric line. Um, when you open the main uh, circuit board, you will see the different locations. So mine is, it actually says stove outlets around the stove. It's number 14. So I've already have it on. I'm just going to turn it back on. Right, it was off. Turn it back on. And we're going to head back over to the stove and see how it's doing. Okay, so here we are. You'll see... All right, and here's the stove. You see that it's running. It's actually kind of processing right now. I'm just gonna give it a minute while it's going through and um, getting settled. And then we're gonna do some, uh, some testing. Okay, so here we are. You can see that I'm pressing bake and everything is working fine. So I can press start and it starts the it starts the oven running, so everything is good. I'm just going to turn it off again. Okay, so I'm starting to put everything back together. And um, what I've noticed is I don't want to make these too tight because it actually affects the oven. So I'm just going to make them tight enough to hold it together. These are the screws that go to the sides before I put, uh, put the final pieces back on, which is the side panel and the back panel. So hopefully this was helpful. As you can see, the oven is working, the clock is on. I can press bake and start it, it will be fine. Uh, it's preheating now. So it's a pretty good, quick fix. And I should say that I bought this on Amazon for about $60. Um, it's a part that actually goes it's not fitting completely snug because they don't make this particular part that goes for the for my older oven but um, but this one worked just fine and it's um i'm able to use the oven and the stove and it only cost me 60 dollars and a couple of hours of work um hopefully this is helpful for everybody who is having uh for anybody who's having a problem with their um stove and the control panel